How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. This is a demo and genre for another Nevada mysteries, histories, and legends. There you cool. go. <laughs> uh, today we find ourselves in beautiful Carson City, Nevada. Yes, yes. And at the location we're at, behind Zahner is uh, we're at Fuji Park, which is Walmart's up that way and Spooner Summit. Back yeah. up that way, up towards Tahoe. Yep. So 50, right up that way. In fact, you can see the sign for 50 right there. So we're not far from anything right now. This this is what they used to call the or, they used to call this the Ormsby County Poor Poor Farm, which is basically a, a pre-runner of like a vet housing or current day veterans homes. Yeah. And. Basically, if you were a veteran back in the after the end of the Civil War, early 1900s, you were put on you can you can be put onto a farm to ranch, garden, tend sh cattle, sheep, whatever. Horses, yeah. And uh, you can stay here free as long as you want, as long as you worked worked for it. And these two gentlemen right here, that the headstones, they were they're the two last remaining uh, Ormsby County residents of the uh, of the farm or the ranch farm. Yeah. yeah poor farm but we'll start right here this one is uh james johnson is a alpha company fourth california regiment yep fourth california infantry Cal regiment Calvary infantry uh his story he was born in 1836 in ohio died on April 13, 1910, <clears throat> he enlisted in the Army March 17, 1865 from Marysville, California. He was with Company A, 4th Regimental Cavalry Infantry Volunteers. He mustered out 30 November 1865 at Presidio. Moved to Carson City 1870, worked at various ranches in the area, took, the Army, took up an Army pension on April 13, 1907. Admitted to the Ormsby Poor Farm February 1909, left in 1909, readmitted in 1909, and left again, and then was readmitted again in 1910. And then died a couple of months later. Yep. What was it, April uh, 1909? Well, he was readmitted here January 6, 1910. Okay, so April. And, then, and then of course, then he died April 13, 1910, so yeah. a few months later. And then we've got our next. Gentlemen here. This would be John Thurlman. John Thurlman. Me and Demo were talking about how back in the old days they would they would shorten the names. Like John would become J N O for some ungodly reason. I don't know. But, but uh, yeah. John Thurlman, born 1838 in Ohio, died on December 9th, 1909. He enlisted in the Army in Dayton, Nevada, on June 23rd, 1863, for a three-year enlistment. He was inducted at Fort Churchill and mustered out at Camp Douglas, Utah Territory on June 25th, 1866. He entered the Ormsby County Poor Farm on February 2nd, 1909. And here they are. And of course, he February, so he he was here about a month before he uh, passed away. But yeah, what, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna focus on uh, some famous, some not so famous individuals who were here during the old days of the Wild West and uh, the individuals who made the Carson Valley their final resting place. I don't know, this might have to be a part two, or part one of two. <laughs> there's quite a few. Yeah, because there, there's, some, there's some history we're going to be covering today. So. Yeah. So we'll oh, see. we'll give it a whirl. Yep. Shall we do it, brother? All right. So, like I said, you guys are ever in Carson City, you want a good fishing spot? Fuji Park. Oh yeah, Bailey Pine. And then come here and uh, pay, pay, some pay, pay, pay some respects. These two old soldiers. All right. Gone but not forgotten. Yes, sir. All right, brother, let's head on out. What do you see? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, go. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, right now, we are at Pioneer Cemetery here in Carson City, uh, uh, Fifth Street, Fifth and Terrace. 
This is the first known cemetery in Carson City. <clears throat> Basically, uh, Pioneer Cemetery, 1860. Major William Ormsby was killed in, in an ambush by Pyram in the Pyramid Lake in June 1860. William Allen, uh, he was a scout, was the last of the some 40 men white, white men killed in the in the ensuing in war. Years. Both were interred here. But uh, Ormsby was later moved and then reburied again in uh, Oakland, California. Um, right over here is uh, William Allen, William S. Allen. He was the scout for uh, Je uh, William uh, Major Major Ormsby. <clears throat> and then uh, another interesting side note down here is Sheriff John Blackburn. He was the first lawman killed. In uh, Carson City. In the line of uh, line duty. He was first stabbed. Nevada uh, lawman killed in the line of duty, John Blackburn. Yeah, he was uh, he was stabbed to death by a Bowie knife in Carson City at the St. Nicholas Saloon while attempting to arrest William Mayfield. Mayfield was convicted of murder and then escaped from the territorial jail, and the sheriff was laid here to rest with his friend William Ormsby and William Allen. Who they served during the 1860 Paiute Indian War. Yeah, all three were buddies. Yep. Allen and Ormsby were killed in the in the uh, Pyramid Lake War, and then Sheriff Blackburn was killed later on, and laid the rest here with his buddies. And I believe they interred Blackburn too. So I think the only one left here is this gentleman right here. This is William S. Allen. He was the scout that was killed. In June June 5th, 1860, uh, born October 25th, 1828, from uh, Callaway County, Missouri. Missouri. Uh, shot near Pyramid Lake, while the head of a scouting party called out by Colonel Hayes. June 5th, 1860. So. And there he is. So yeah, basically William Allen, William Ormsby, and uh, Blackburn were. Oh, buddies, war buddies. Oh yeah. All right, and here we have another one. Sacred to the memory of Edward B. Buckley. Died November 17th, 1868, age 25 years. Native of Kent, Kenturk, County Cork, Ireland. Erected by his brother, John B. Buckley. And the tombstone was by Jay Sweeney. Market, Jay Sweeney. Market Street, San Francisco. Yep. Came all the way from Ireland just to find this lonely little patch of Carson City to call his own. How we doing, folks? We greet you with church bells. <laughs> We're here in beautiful, just the old part of Carson City, Nevada. This house right here, this was the house of Orion Clemens. Orion Clemens, secretary to territorial governor James W. Nye, lived in this house with his wife Molly and his daughter Jenny from 1864 to 1866. Samuel, his brother, who was a reporter for the Territorial Enterprise up in VC, stayed here periodically until leaving the territory in May 1864. He became famous as Mark Twain. And this was the house that uh, Mark Twain lived in part of the time and his brother Orion Clemens lived in all the time. Yeah. So if you're, if you're interested in checking this place out, you see it's a, an attorney at law, so it's it's a business, but uh, you're at the corner of... I guess you could call it there. You're at the corner of Spear and Division, 502 Division Street. And it's also famous for being haunted. I believe it is. Well, it's definitely been here long enough. Beautiful but, house, though. Yep. Beautiful. Almost looks French. But uh, the reason... The reason why we're uh, showing you where Orion Clemens' house is leads us into our next segue. The next little area that we're going to hit, we're going to show you. So, so, without any further ado, let's go. Uh, and foregoing any further traffic. Yeah, let's go check out uh, what's behind this. Uh, door number two. Door number two. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's do it, brother. All right, folks, how we doing? We are back, and this time, we're still in Carson City, but now we're at the Lone Mountain Cemetery. 
And who we have here, final resting place is Mr. Hank Henry J. Monk. Very famous frontiersman. Back in the old western days, he was a stagecoach driver. And he is most notable for, uh, he is mentioned in Mark Twain's book, Roughing It. And he was also giving Horace Greeley a ride in his wagon when Horace Greeley said the famous words, Go west, young man, go west. This is Hank Monk. Yeah. Most noted and celebrated stage driver in the West. From Carson, Carson City to Placerville, California on a rough train in only 10 hours. Yes. Most noted and celebrated stage driver in the West. 10 hours. It's still, and it take, it's still gonna take you two to two and a half hours in a car yeah. on a paved road. Yeah. And he did it in 10 hours. 90 miles over rough train, 10 hours. <laughs> That's incredible. And we know those we know those mountains like the back of our hands. That is not an easy feat. Uh, all right. Go we'll check out uh, another one? Yeah, let's go see another one here. Let's go. All right, folks, and we're still here in Lone Mountain Cemetery. And we were at that house in uh, downtown in the old section of Carson City for a reason, Orion Clemens. This is the grave of his little daughter, Jenny Clemens, who died in 1864. She died in that house. Jenny was the only daughter of Orion Clemens, who was appointed by President Lincoln to serve as the first and only secretary of the newly created Nevada Territory in 1861. Her uncle was the famous writer Mark Twain. She died of spotted fever at a young age. On the day of her memorial service, the legislature adjourned so the service could be attended by lawmakers. And this is her grave here, little Jenny Clemens. You're not alone, Jenny, you're... Their parents oh, moved oh. away, and they're both buried in Sister. Hannibal, Missouri. Yeah. Poor little Jenny's here. She was a very pious young girl. She knew the Bible, back of her hand, apparently. They sat in that house. Say how old she was? She was nine. Oh, yeah, 55 to 64. Yeah, yeah. she was nine years old. But, uh, yeah, they still... all. Orion, Samuel Clemens, or Mark Twain, her uncle and her mother sat in vigil around her bed for days until she finally, she finally passed away. Hmm. Yeah, just another little, another little angel that was brought out here and never made it out. There are so many of them, so many. When you go to these cemeteries, it's, it's heartbreaking, really. All right. But yeah, and then, uh, we got, Little Jenny Clemens here, and we got Hank Monk, and there's all kinds of famous guys, old Pony Express riders, guys who were veterans from the Indian Wars, Civil War. Yeah, if you if you ever if you ever come to Lone Lone Mountain Cemetery in Carson, if you see little white markers with rebar like this, those are your historical, uh, those are the historical. In, in, individuals. So you can see there's one right over here. We're going to go see what it is, or who it is, and they're just. Just about. Yeah, disper dispersed all over. So, so see what else we can find. Yeah. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here on our grand cemetery exp expedition. We showed you uh, Pioneer oh, Cemetery. Yeah, the Pioneer Cemetery. We showed you the. Um, the Ormsby County Poor Farm Cemetery and here Lone Pine or Lone Mountain Cemetery. Lone Park. Mountain Cemetery and Orion Clemens Home. Yep, that one too. So, I said we're going to wrap this one up. It's been a good day of uh, finding some new things that I, I didn't know were out here, which is kind of kind of odd. It's kind yeah. of odd for me. <laughs> but I'm standing right next to Colonel McDermott. He was killed August 1865 up by Fort McDermott area, which is, uh, he was he was killed in ambush. Two corporals were seriously wounded, one, and he was mortally wounded. He lived four hours after being shot. Then they uh, took him down to Fort Churchill. He was the commander. Yeah, he was also the commander at Fort Churchill, or garrison commander. And uh, I think they interred him from the cemetery at Fort Churchill. They disinterred him, brought him here, yeah. That's what, that's what I meant to say. So this is, if you wonder about the town of McDermott, it's named after this gentleman right here. Right there. 
and a child of Colonel McDermott, and then a lot of unknown U.S. soldiers. Yeah, I highly recommend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my son. That's probably blessed from you. Thank you, my son. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I strongly recommend if you uh, make a trip out to Carson City, come to the Lone, Cemetery, the Lone Mountain Cemetery. Kick around. It's over... Straight off of Roop. Roop Street, yeah. If you go, I think, over to the, the, hot, the, the office over there, they'll give you a map. Just kind of point out the, the important people. A lot of interesting people buried here from the old western yeah. times. Just just wander around and just you can you can spend hours here looking at names. Oh yeah. All right. But yes, yeah, shall we? Yeah. I have no further ado. There's no ado's here either. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's like I said, if there's no other ado's, this has been your old buddies Debo and Zoner on a uh, Another great adventure of uh, uh, mysteries. Nevada's mystery, history, and legend. Mysteries, histories, and legends. Thank you, folks, and we'll see you on the next go round. And, and don't, don't let your, your meat loaf. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye. And me and Dima were just leaving the cemetery. Here's the veterans section. I happen to notice across the street. Huh. Hmm. Could that be a coincidence? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Cemetery. Senior Citizen Center. I wonder if this happened by accident. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs>